Kia Nero Review. Our rating. 4 Star. The Kia Nero Hybrid is a good first effort from the Korean firm, although a price is more efficient. 4. Stylish SUV looks, easy to drive, reasonable economy. Against. Not the most efficient hybrid, jerky gearbox, dull handling. The Kia Nero is a petrol-electric hybrid model that steers clear of the normally extrovert styling cues of these sorts of cars, and that alone will put it at the top of many buyers' shopping lists. And in isolation, the Nero is a spacious, well-equipped and efficient family crossover. However, it's obvious that the Nero is Kia's first hybrid effort, because while it's good, it can't quite match the efficiencies of other well-developed hybrids, chiefly the Toyota Prius. Offering the Nero exclusively as a hybrid separates it from the rest of the Kia range, but like other petrol-electric models, urban driving shows it in a better light than longer journeys, as the engine will cut in more frequently than it does in a Prius, while the ordinary drive and poorer efficiency will come to light. Our choice. Kia Nero 1.6 GDI 2139 BHP DCT. The Kia Nero is the first hybrid the Korean firm has sold in the UK, and it arrived in 2016, just ahead of its sister model, the Hyundai Ioniq. It's designed to be a rival to the Toyota Prius and Toyota Aorus Hybrid, although because Kia is new to the hybrid game, the Nero isn't quite as efficient as either of these two. From the outside, the Nero's chief selling point is its compact crossover body. This means it's right on message with the current demand for models with an SUV look, and its restrained five-door shape will be appealing for those who don't like the futuristic lines of the latest Prius. Under the skin, the Nero uses exactly the same petrol-electric hybrid system as the Ioniq, so it features a 104 bhp 1.6 GDI, gasoline direct injection, petrol engine with 6-speed DCT twin-clutch gearbox, a 43 bhp electric motor and advanced lithium-ion polymer batteries for energy storage. It has decent economy and emissions, but like the Ioniq, Kia is planning to introduce a more economical plug-in hybrid, while a full electric version is also thought to be in the pipeline. At present, all models in the Nero range are powered by the hybrid drive system, if you want a regular petrol or diesel, then you either need to downsize to the marginally smaller Kia CD hatch, or move up to the slightly larger Sportage. Kia doesn't quote a range on pure battery power alone, because the hybrid system is designed to manage power between the electric motor, battery, and engine from the moment you turn the car on. There are four models in the Nero range, kicking off with the Nero 1, which starts from just under 21,500 pounds. This puts it on an equal footing with the Toyota Aorus, and the range undercuts the price. There are Nero 2 and Nero 3 models, while the Nero first edition was available at launch, while the Nero 4 will arrive with a similarly generous amount of kit when the first edition sells out. This top spec model comes in at around 27,000 pounds, which undercuts the most expensive price by around 750 pounds. However, it's worth noting that the higher spec Neros have bigger 18-inch wheels that push emissions over the benchmark 100g slash km barrier. Engines, Performance, and Drive 3.2 Star The Nero is as simple to drive as any other automatic, but it's not very interesting to drive. Kia has tried to make the Nero as normal to drive as it is to look at, but as in all hybrid models, there's eerie silence when you twist the key in the ignition. Slot the gear selector into drive, squeeze the throttle and the car glides forward on electric power alone. However, you don't have to press the pedal much harder for the 104 bhp 1.6 liter 4 cylinder petrol engine to burst into life to assist the 43 bhp electric motor. The internal combustion engine is more intrusive when compared to a Toyota Prius's, particularly at high revs, when it takes on a coarse note and sends tingly vibrations through the car. The Nero also doesn't accelerate with the same smooth and seamless action as the Toyota. That's partly down to the car's six-speed twin-clutch gearbox, which delivers slightly lazy and jerky upshifts. Even so, 
Once up to speed, the Nero will cruise for short periods up to 70 miles per hour on battery power alone. Yet while the Nero's power plant can't match a Toyota's for smoothness and refinement, it has the upper hand for performance. With a combined output of 141 bhp, the Kia has a 20 bhp advantage over a Prius, plus there's a muscular 264 nm of torque available for short periods. As a result, we tested a Nero over the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in a brisk 9.2 seconds, which was 1.1 seconds faster than the time we recorded in a Prius. It also beat its rival in our kickdown assessments, while its ability to hold gears allowed it to record better in gear acceleration times, which were on PAR with traditional 1.6 liter diesel models. However, in the real world, you have to work the Nero's power unit hard to maintain the same pace as the more relaxing Toyota. Plus, the stiff suspension setup results in the Kia following bumps at lower speeds and fidgeting on the motorway. The Nero can't match a Prius for driver involvement, which is something we never thought we'd say about a Prius, but the Kia steering is direct and the handling is safe and predictable. Selecting sport mode sharpens the throttle response, delivers a more aggressive shift strategy for the gearbox and adds weight to the steering, although it's all rather at odds with the car's otherwise sensible character. Engine The Nero's 1.6 direct injection petrol engine is smooth, but it does cut in more frequently than a Toyota Prius's. This is the only engine currently on offer in the Nero, and it comes with a 6-speed DCT twin-clutch gearbox. While that sounds more appealing than Toyota CVT gearbox, it actually behaves quite like a CVT, as it holds onto the revs when accelerating, so it sounds rather harsh, while the shifts themselves are clunky. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4.4 star. Good economy and low emissions are a given, but they're not quite on a PAR with a Prius just yet. With prices starting at just under £21,500 and topping out at around £27,000, the Kia Niro is priced to compete against both the Toyota Aorus Hybrid and the Prius. However, take the Niro 2 as an example when compared to the Toyota Prius Business Edition. Apart from the inclusion of SAT NAV as standard on the Niro 2, the car isn't nearly as well equipped as the Toyota. Standard kit is generous, with all models getting cruise and climate control, a multifunction steering wheel and electric windows. Two models add extras such as SAT NAV, a leather trimmed wheel, part leather seat trim and an auto dimming rear view mirror. But like the rest of the Kia range, there aren't many options, so if you want extra kit you'll have to trade up to the three for around £2,000 extra. Look beyond list prices and the Kia doesn't make as much financial sense, either. For starters, CO2 emissions of 88G slash KM make it a more expensive company car choice, with higher rate earners paying around £300 more over the course of a year. The Kia's wheel size has an effect on CO2 emissions. Go for a less well-equipped Nero 1 or 2 and you get modest 16-inch alloy wheels that help trim CO2 emissions to 88G slash KM, but the higher spec 3 and 1st edition, later to be replaced by the Nero 4, and these get bigger 18-inch alloys, which push the emissions figure up to 101G slash KM. In comparison, the latest Prius has emissions of 70-76G slash KM, and you can specify the higher spec models with smaller wheels to achieve the lower emissions figure. Despite the focus on efficiency, the Kia tips the scales at a hefty 1,566 kg, which is a significant 191 kg more than a Prius. On the plus side, we recorded an excellent 59.6 mpg fuel return while testing a Nero, compared to 57.8 mpg for a Prius on a similar test route. Insurance Groups There are four Nero models, and three out of the four sit in Insurance Group 12. The Nero 3 is the exception, as it sits in Group 14. That's because it has more desirable kit than the Nero 1 and 2, but it doesn't feature autonomous emergency braking like the Group 12 rated 1st edition slash Nero 4. Depreciation 
Our experts have yet to calculate residuals for the Nero, but it's unlikely it'll beat the Prius's impressive 47.3% figure. Interior, Design, and Technology 3.4 Star Conventional crossover styling will be appealing to buyers who don't like the radical Prius. While the boldly styled Toyota Prius wears its eco-friendly credentials on its sleeve, the Kia Nero favors a more low-key approach. With its traditional compact family hatchback proportions, subtly raised ride height and tough-looking black wheel arch surrounds, the Kia follows a template set by fashionable, conventionally powered crossover models. It lacks the instant head-turning appeal of a Prius, but this more conventional shape gives the Kia plenty of showroom appeal. Its smattering of off-roader styling cues and less adventurous design approach will be a big draw to buyers who want hybrid efficiency without shouting about it. The subtle design continues inside, where the Nero feels far more mainstream than a Prius. Yet what it lacks in flair, the interior makes up for with solidity. Everything seems robustly built, while most of the materials have a high-quality look and feel. For instance, soft-touch plastic covers the top of the dashboard, and the use of gloss black trim inserts and metal effect air vent surrounds helps give the cabin an upmarket lift. One echo-minded feature is that you can set the climate controls to focus solely on the driver if you're traveling one up, this is an echo feature that was first seen on the Kia Soul EV. Sat NAV, Stereo and Infotainment The Nero 2 gets a 7-inch touchscreen Sat NAV system, while the Nero 3 gets a larger 8-inch NAV. Both are pretty easy to get along with, and have clear graphics and straightforward destination input. The only clue to the Nero's petrol-electric underpinnings is the unique instrument cluster, which features a full-color 4.2-inch TFT screen and a power meter in place of the traditional rev counter. This setup allows you to monitor the energy flow between the batteries, electric motor, engine, and wheels, plus it generates numerous fuel use statistics. And as a bit of fun, there's a neat graphic that grows a tree as you drive more efficiently. Nero 2 and above get two USB sockets, while the Nero 3 also adds a wireless phone charging pad and 8-speaker JBL sound system with subwoofer in the boot. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 4.2 Star There's decent space as the car is designed around its hybrid drive system. By designing the Nero around a compact crossover template, Kia has delivered decent practicality. In terms of size, it sits somewhere between the Kia CD hatchback and Kia Sportage crossover, so it fills a niche of its own in some ways. Size The Nero is 4,355 mm long and has a wheelbase of 2,700 mm. That's the same wheelbase as a Toyota Prius, but the Prius is around 200 mm longer overall. As you would expect, that crossover shape means the Nero is taller and wider than the Prius at 1,545 mm and 1,805 mm respectively. Legroom, Headroom and Passenger Space Occupants sitting in the rear of the Kia have more headroom than in the Toyota thanks to the car's square crossover shape. Up front, the driver gets a wide range of seat and wheel adjustment, while the only real ergonomic niggle is the foot-operated parking brake, which sits uncomfortably high and near your left shin when it's disengaged. Boot Space The upright tailgate opening isn't as large as the hatchback Toyota Priuses, but the Nero's 373-liter boot capacity is 30 liters up on its rival. With the rear seats folded, the Nero trails the Prius by 187 liters, at 1,371 liters, but it does at least benefit from a flat floor. Elsewhere there's decent storage, including a spacious glove box, but it can't quite match the neatly packaged Prius for cubby space. Like its rival, there's no spare wheel, just a bottle of sealant for minor punctures. Reliability and Safety 4.1 Star This is new technology for Kia, so there might be issues, but the seven-year warranty will help confidence. Within the last decade, Kia has come on leaps and bounds, as it's moved from budget brand to mainstream player. 
This is reflected by its decent 14th place finish in our Driver Power 2016 Satisfaction Survey. More impressive is the result of its dealer network, which owners rated 9th overall. The standard Nero earned a 4-star Euro NCAP safety rating in 2016, but if you add the optional Advanced Driving Assistance Pack, which includes autonomous emergency braking, as well as adaptive cruise control, for around 350 pounds, then the rating moves up to 5 stars. This pack is standard on first edition models, while standard safety kit across the range includes 7 airbags, including a driver's knee bag, stability control, lane keep assist, tire pressure monitors and hill start assist. As for reliability, it's too early to say how the Nero will fare. Kia has tried to make its first hybrid model look and feel as mainstream as possible, but there are some real high touches, particularly when it comes to batteries. While the Toyota Prius uses tried and tested nickel metal hydride cells, the Nero gets the latest lithium-ion polymer technology, as used in mobile phones. That means the Kia's batteries weigh just 33 kilograms, and they offer around 50 percent or higher energy density than the Toyota's warranty. With that in mind, it's good to know that the petrol electric drivetrain is covered by the same 7 year slash 100 comma 000 mile warranty as the rest of the car, and that should give you extra peace of mind if you are planning to take the plunge on this new technology. You only get 12 months breakdown assistance, though. Servicing. Service intervals for the Nero are every 10,000 miles or 12 months, whichever comes first. Kia's Care 3 three-year servicing pack is available on the Nero, and it's reasonably priced at around £430. For an extra £30 you can also cover the costs of the car passing its first MOT, too.